Some would say fruit machines are just another form of hustle, because like every good hustle, they suck you in with the promise of getting something for nothing. We all know that playing a fruit machine is a gamble, but Alex, Jess and Paul are going to reveal a few things you might not know about your real chances of winning. There's about a quarter of a million fruit machines in this country, and there's a good reason for that. Machines cost a lot to buy, but the profit returns for the owners are ginormous. We used to call these the one-armed bandits, and that's probably because they were really good at robbing you of your money, but it's perfectly legal, although the amount of money that they decide to take is entirely determined by the operator of the machine. The machines can be set by their owners to pay out a fixed percentage of what the gambler puts in. In the UK, the minimum percentage they can legally pay back is 70%. So that means for every £10 inserted, the gambler will only win back an average of £7 in prizes. Less than 70%, you could call it almost an organised form of hustling. So they're just putting it in a corner and waiting for you to fall for it. You can get chips like this over the internet. Arcade owners can get hold of these and insert them into the machines. I'll show you exactly where they go. You see where it says percentage key over here? If you put one of these chips in there, you can change the percentage. Now, you can put it down as low as 20%. So if you're a dodgy fruit machine owner, you can slot one of these into your fruit machine and make it pay out a lot less than what it legally should. They are quite fun to play on there, and you can win money on them. But in the long run, you won't be winning on any one machine. I mean, what kind of information do you know when you walk up to a machine? This one's called Battle Axe. It's a picture of a very large lady with lots of hair. That's it. That's all that you know. So you know that the best time to play one of these is after a busy night when the machine's probably been filled up by players. So, you know, maybe after a Saturday night or a busy night like that, that's the best time to, to play one of these machines. Um, it would be really helpful if you could walk up to any machine and figure out exactly how much money was in it, how much the percentage is. And uh, there are ways to do that. If you were to get a key, just like this one from the internet, it costs about 10 pounds. So look, if you were to put this in here like that and turn it, it gives me a bunch of information that I can use. The percent, 75% payout. Target is 78% right now. Um, there's the number of spins, um, and that's the number of uh, coins that are in there. The only thing you might want to worry about is that sometimes an alarm will go off in these machines when you turn it. So you might want to go up to the jukebox and select the loudest track you can before you try this. Refill keys aren't illegal, but we don't recommend you use them in an arcade. People found trying to use these keys by burly arcade owners could end up in serious bother. Can I have that? No. Nope. <laughs>